Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for March 23rd of 2024 is titled Aries 3 Landing Site, The Martian Revisited. So what do we see here? Well, here we see an image taken by the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter cameras, and that shows a couple of craters here. Now the coloring is not true color. It's not what you would see with your eyes. You would actually see it more of a typical grayish red color that we're used to associating with Mars. This is the way the camera specifically photographs these things and looking at the two craters. Now, this is actually the region that was part of the fictional uh, landing site of the Ares 3 mission, which ties into the Martian, which was a novel and of course a movie as well, uh, based on that novel. And that was where, of course, the astronaut was stranded on the surface of Mars. And what we see here is that region. Now for scale, it's given in the description here, for example, that the uh, astronauts habitat was about six meters in diameter, which is about one tenth the diameter of the larger crater that we see here. Now, of course, this was a fictional landing on Mars, and we are still working toward future landings on Mars. We already have craft orbiting Mars and doing a number of different things, including the rovers on the surface of Mars and exploring those small areas. Now, of course, the idea eventually would be to send humans to Mars to explore it in more detail. So to have true visitors to Mars and that why do we want to do that when we can send robotic craft? Well, there is really nothing that compares to having an actual human on site in terms of being able to study regions and to be able to make immediate decisions, things that could easily be missed with the rovers. And remember, of course, the rovers are very limited in the areas that they can explore and the speed at which they can explore. It can take them a decade to travel just a, just a few dozen miles across the Martian surface. So being able to have a permanent habitat on Mars would allow us to better understand this, uh, this planet. Now, Mars in some ways is rather similar to Earth and may have had a similar history. We know that Mars had water on its surface in the past. So there has been water there and there is still water on Mars, although not in a liquid form. Mars can no longer have liquid water because it has lost most of its atmosphere. The atmospheric pressure is far too low for liquid water to exist. However, still is water there. So one of the things that could be obtained by a settlement on Mars would be that water would be present there instead of having to transport that from Earth. So that's a difference with our moon, which has far more limited resources of water than something like Mars. So here we see the region around what what was used as the Ares 3 landing site in the Martian novel of an astronaut stranded on the surface of Mars. So that was our picture of the day for March 23rd of 2024. It was titled Ares 3 landing site the Martian revisited. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be looking back. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.